Hey guys and welcome back. Now today I am going to be sharing with you something that is very highly requested on my channel and that is my jewelry collection and before we dive into it I just want to say that there really is no rhyme or reason to the way that I have stored my jewelry. So I'm going to be showing you how I store everything, my organization, which you'll very quickly find out is not really very organized at all. The other thing you're probably going to notice is that a lot of my jewelry is very fine, very minimal. So because I really like that sort of understated look and I like things that are really unassuming and subtle. So you're going to find that there is a very common theme throughout everything and I have a lot of really, really sentimental jewelry pieces. So I will share with you guys a little bit of the story behind those. So I hope you guys really enjoy watching this video. If you have subscribed and you would like to see more from me then don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and let's dive right into my jewelry collection. So this box here is where I tend to keep everything that I'm not wearing daily or jewelry pieces that really have sentimental value to me or also my belt and the box is actually from Matches Fashion and I love the packaging that they use so I thought it'd be a great little storage box so that just opens up. So as you can see when it's open, there aren't really any sections or anything like that. I've just got a whole bunch of pouches like these here and also these little jewelry boxes. And on the left hand side here, I keep all of my belts. So this first box here, this is just from Karen Walker. And in here, I've got just a whole bunch of jewelry that my yaya gave me. So I've got the Mati, which is the evil eye, which if you're Greek, then you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. I have this necklace here which I've had since I was a kid, um, it's just really pretty, I used to wear that all the time when I was younger and you know I've got this necklace my Yaya gave me and then also this is the, the cross or the stavro from when I was christened. So those all sit in there. Then this next Karen Walker box, this has some of my uh, necklaces in it. So this necklace here is an ankh and obviously that's a symbol of fertility. This was given to me by my dad and he has the matching rings. So I've had that since I was very, very young. Um, I've got a couple of necklaces from Karen Walker. These are the daisy ones. I don't know if you guys can see, but I'll link below to the website. And then I've got this necklace here, which is a really, really long pendant necklace and this used to belong to my mum so she used to wear this a lot when I was younger and so it's got a lot of sentimental value to me. This next box from Karen Walker has all of my earrings in it so these are actually all earrings that my mum gave to me. I don't know how well you guys are going to be able to see these but I'll try and insert some close-ups. So I've got some really pretty just dangling earrings in here and I've got a lot of studs as well including some really pretty pearl studs so that's what I have in there and obviously it's a wee bit of a mess <laughs> and then in this last box here I've just got some other little bits and pieces so I've got the tag bracelet from when I was christened that has my name on it I've got this absolutely adorable bracelet which is covered in turtles and this was given to me by my stepdad's mother after coming back from a trip to Greece I have this other necklace which this used to belong to my mum as well so again huge sentimental value it's a the chain is so incredibly delicate it uh, twists quite a lot but it's an anchor and it's just got little oh my god I'm such a mess it's just got little diamonds down the center it's really really pretty and I'll wear that occasionally Next I'm going to go into what's in these little bags and these are mostly just bracelets that sort of thing in this first one I have this really gorgeous necklace it's on kind of a fish wire with little diamantes around it and this I wore for our engagement party I've got no idea where my mum got this it did belong to her as well but it's just so pretty one of my favorites for going out then I have in here I've got a couple of bangles so I've got this one here which is from Kate Spade it's got a knot and that was given to me for Christmas our first Christmas here in Australia and then this one here is from Greece and this was given to me by my mum and my stepdad for my 21st birthday. This next bag here just has my charm bracelet in it and I think we all have one of those charm bracelets from when we were a kid. Love that. And then this one is mostly just full of pearl necklaces, I think. Yeah, I just got a few different pearl necklaces in there. I don't really tend to wear these too often as obviously they're a lot more dressier than what I tend to wear on a daily basis but they're nice to have for if I'm going to be going out 
This little bag here has a really bright necklace and if you followed my blog before I stopped blogging the first time you probably will have seen this before but oh my gosh it's from um, H&M it's from the Lonvan H&M collection that's what it looks like it ties up with a ribbon at the back it's absolutely gorgeous I just never wear it <laughs> it sits in here and I kind of forget that I even have that one but that's really really pretty and then the last container that I have in here with jewelry in it is just a ledger day box and in this one this little bag I have some bracelets that I got when I went traveling to Santorini and also to New York so they just have a lot of memories for me with traveling I wore them all the time and I just can't bear to part with those and then in this box I've got a very tarnished pair of earrings from Karen Walker these are one of my favorite pairs of earrings and um, my mum gave them to me as good luck so I just like to hold on to them I really should start wearing them again as I just adore these and they make a real statement then as you can see on the left hand side here I've just got a whole bunch of my belts and things like that I don't tend to reach for these too often but it's just nice knowing that I have them so that's everything that was in this box so this here is the other space where I have all of my jewelry so you can see that I've got two separate spots I have this platter here which is from Karen Walker and I'll link that down below because I'm pretty sure she still sells these and then I have this round marble tray which I purchased from a cup of chic so I'll also link that down below as well and then you can see I've got a couple of candles there and one of my current favorite nail polishes and what I'll do is I'll bring you guys in a little bit closer so you can get a proper look at what is on each of these trays as you can see this polka dot tray tends to have a lot of my everyday jewelry on it so I've got all of the earrings that I typically tend to wear on a almost daily basis a couple of very fine necklaces and also some bracelets as well so I'll quickly just talk you through all the different pieces that are sitting here so these first ones here I've got on the left I think it's Masha by Sasha I, I got these from Ukes and they're really really fun and perfect for the summertime and I just love the little tassels on the end these trumpet pearl earrings are from Naked Pearls which is an Australian brand they're a new addition to my jewelry collection and what I really love about Naked Pearls is that they support the Stop Hunger Now campaign so every single purchase that you make they donate three meals to a person in need so I think that's really really lovely and a nice way to get some great jewelry while also supporting someone who needs it so yeah those are really pretty and just quite simple then here I've got some very, very tarnished looking Karen Walker heart earrings. I have had these for years. I love them and I still wear them quite frequently, but as you can see, they're in good need of a polish. Then I've got some other earrings here. These ones are from ASOS and they're just different lengths. I don't think you can get these anymore, but I'll link to a similar one below. Oops. Uh, these earrings here, I'm totally making a mess. I've had many questions about before as well these used to belong to my mum they're really beautiful and I just love the simpleness of them so I do like to wear those quite a bit I have these earrings here which were a gift from Luke for Christmas one year they're from Kate Spade I really love them they're just a great simple go-to stud I have these earrings which are double pearl earrings from is it Scar Scan or Skyn or I'm not, it's a Danish brand I don't, I'm not exactly too sure how to pronounce it so Please forgive me if I completely butchered that, but I know you're not supposed to pronounce the G. I really like these. They're so pretty and I'm obsessed with rose gold or copper tones, so love them. Then I have the olive branch air jackets from Majuri, which are one of my favorite earrings at the moment. I really love these and I'll link to my Majuri video if you haven't seen it yet for the edit that I did with them. I have these earrings here, which are from the Peach Box. They're what I wore on my wedding day. They're very, very similar to the Dior, Maison Dior earrings. Then the other earrings I have sitting here are these ones. And they just have a little green gemstone and a pearl. I'm not sure where these are from, but I got these from my grandmother. Then here I've got a couple of daisy necklaces from Karen Walker. So they've got these really pretty little daisies with a diamond in the center. Um, I have this little bracelet which Luke got me when we were in Santorini. Very fine Mark by Mark Jacobs bracelet. Um, these are some studs that I won as part of a competition. I can't remember where they're from but it's from a Wellington 
Danish jewelry store. But I've just got a chain bracelet here from Mark by Mark Jacobs. This bracelet, which I wear quite frequently, and this was a gift from my parents for my 21st birthday. And then I've got my mum's engagement ring. I like to wear this just to kind of have her close to me. And sometimes in the winter time, I'll wear this instead of the ring that Luke gave me, just as it fits my finger a little bit better. Then moving on to the next one. This marble tray is where a lot of my longer pieces tend to sit. So I'll start from the right going over to the left. So this first item here is a new watch that I got from Paul Hewitt. And it's really beautiful. It has a rose gold detailing with a white dial and then it's got this black metal band which I just love it kind of looks like that on I'll insert a proper close-up so you guys can get a good look then I've got this necklace here from Karen Walker it's chrysanthemums and this was actually a gift from my uncle for my 21st birthday so it's something that I still cherish seven years later then here I've got a just a chain wrap bracelet from Mark by Mark Jacobs I don't know if you can get this particular one anymore but I'll try and find it as I had quite a few questions on it in the past then I've got two of the necklaces from Missouri I have just a very s simple chain from uh, Wellington designer uh, this was just a gift from Luke and I know you can get these kinds of belcher chains at most jewelry stores and I have a choker here from ASOS and then here on the left are a lot of the rings that I have so I've got a couple from Majuri, one from Stolen Girlfriends Club this one here was one that used to belong to my mum um, then I've also got a whole bunch of rings here which they're not from Pandora but they're from one of those similar brands I can't remember but I like these but they're just a little bit too big for me. Then I also have a couple of rings from Karen Walker as well, which I've got a heart and a ribbon. So they kind of look like that. So I hope you guys really enjoyed watching this video and getting a little peek into my jewelry collection. As I mentioned, it is very minimal, very simple, but I just have so many favorites and a lot of things that I just can't bear to part with. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.